Every so often, the oath is taken amidst gathering clouds and raging storms. So it has been, so it must be with this generation of Americans. The time has come to set aside childish things. The time has come to reaffirm our enduring spirit. We will harness the sun and the winds and the soil to fuel our cars and run our factories. And we will transform our schools and colleges and universities to meet the demands of a new age. Now, there are some who question the scale of our ambitions. What the cynics fail to understand is that the ground has shifted beneath them. To all the other peoples and governments who are watching today, from the grandest capitals to the small village where my father was born, know that America is a friend of each nation and every man, woman, and child who seeks a future of peace and dignity. And we are ready to lead once more.
the youth people of America to know by the educational director and the vice president of CBS so closely follows the communist party line. To answer that question, we must turn back the pages of history. But over a hundred years ago, a little group of men in Europe inspired to deliver the world to a new system, to communism. Under their system, the individual was nothing, the family was nothing, God did not even exist. Their theory was that an all-powerful state should have the power of life or death over its citizens without even a trial. That everything and everybody belonged to the rulers of the states. They opened their roads. Nothing secret about them. But in their efforts to gain power, uh, they would be 